Hello, my warriors for wellness. Trisha Gumberg here, your intuitive healer and numerologist. For our thoughtful Thursday meditation today, we're going to, to discover what spiritual laws we need to work on. I was inspired by planets and retrograde to take a look at this for ourselves. Step one would be calculating your life path number. You can use my book. Uh, page six shows you how to calculate. Today we're actually going to use this date of birth to calculate and figure out what our spiritual laws are. So we add up all the digits of our birth date down to a single digit and we get a one. So we're going to work on life path one which is the challenges of creativity and confidence. Understand that these are your superpowers once you have managed all the challenges that go along with it, right? The next thing is to look up. Now I've used, um, I fell in love with Dan Millian, Millman's uh, life, the born life, excuse me, the life you were born to live. And the spiritual laws that he gives for Life Path 1 are the law of choices, the law of flexibility, the law of action, that's that number one, the law of intuition, mm -hmm, and the law of responsibility. Okay. Notice, see the Venn diagram here. Obviously, we could write creativity and confidence in our life path. Um, the, that's what we're here to work in our lifetime. And then we're going to figure out which one of these laws are most appropriate right now. They're all appropriate and we could look them all up. But let's, let's see if the planets can give us a little bit more. We have, now I didn't list Chiron in retrograde on here. He's the wounded healer. And I think that we all have wounds to heal. So I left it off of our list. Saturn is about following the beat of your own drum. Mercury is about communication. Jupiter is about reviewing your belief system. Neptune is good for creative writing but not good for seeing the truth. Pluto is about controlling others or being controlled. Okay, now, well, I know a lot about the Life Path 1 because that's what I've been working on, but it seems clear to me that uh, follow the beat of your own drum is the focus here. And, <laughs> and because that's the challenge of the Life Path 1, you need to be unique to the point of being weird and then how do you do that how do you how do you feel the beat of your own drum through intuition yes so we have the law of intuition and now let's go to dan millman the law of intuition um right hearing that inner guidance and then you would meditate read the law of intuition and I probably have this marked all the heck up. Yeah, I've got underlined, underline, underline, notes in the margin. <laughs> so yes, I've been working on this. Um, and it appears to me that now's a good time to work on it a little bit more. All right, if this sounds interesting to you and you want to join us tonight via Zoom to figure out what spiritual laws... Mine is going to be intuition. That's going to be my focus, which I thought I, you know, had that down, but obviously not. You can join us via Zoom. Send me a DM and uh, we'll get into some deep thought this Thursday. Until next time, know that I love you. Mwah.